All right, I've got the new Aero Quad Mini Shield accessory board we've been working on. Uh, there it is. It's pretty nice. Good and purple. This is the prototype. Uh, it matches up uh, just to show you a picture of the mini. Here's a mini board. And they match up pretty much right exactly on top of each other. Holes look good. They all go right through and everything. Uh, basically, the idea here is we're going to take and put headers on the mini shield and stuff on these uh, corner corner places where a lot of the uh, leads come come through from other parts of the board. And then we're going to take and have some stackable headers uh, that we can just stack this extra shield on top of the on top of the arrow quad shield. And then um, basically we'll get all those uh, all those signal lines here pulled up through, and then we get to put uh, cool stuff on it. So taking a look at the mini shield real quick, uh, I've got a uh, we've got some lines here for um, an XB, so we can put an XB in there. Uh, if you're a fan of the APC uh, wireless signals uh, dealies for serial communication, um, there's lines up here for those. Uh, of course, all the four corners just lead down to essentially the the available lines that are on the AeroQuad shield and then um, there's a spot here for a barometric pressure sensor so you could add uh, Barro to your mini shield uh, there's a spot here for uh, a magnetometer which is uh, you know there for adding a mag to your mini shield and then there's another spot here uh, for adding a 9 DOF board if you want to just um, say you don't I guess like your sixed off or your sixth off doesn't work or something like that you could potentially take this off take your sixth off off of the mini shield and and just add a nine uh, doff board to get your um, you know like a replacement or something like that uh, additionally up in the corner here we got a couple of little leads for a reset button you can mount a reset button on there um, because the shield obviously covers up the the pro mini which is on the mini shield which has the reset button on it um, so now this shield has has a reset. Um, that's pretty much it. We've got the, some some lines here uh, for pulling up the digital 12 and digital 13 pins, which the mini doesn't really use. So you can use them for something else. And this shield exposes those here. We got some analog lines here um, that are similar to. Or they're actually exactly the same as the ones that are on the. Uh, on the the shield itself it's just you pull them up top so that we can use them up there uh, yeah and that's for the most part that's it um, what I'm gonna do here is uh, use my ohm meter to which I have um, to test all the lines this is a prototype so I just want to make sure all the connections were good and um, first of all the boards came out okay and then second of all that we actually had our eagle files correct with all the connections so I'm gonna ohm those up and then uh, and then I'll be back and I'll uh, review the components that I'm going to solder onto mine, and then uh, and then we'll do it. Uh, okay. All right. I have uh, I've taken and tested all the leads on my own meter, and zoom. Okay. Um, and everything seems to be checking out okay. Um, I think everything essentially leads to where it should be. I'm getting you know no resistances. Uh, where I should or little to no and then I'm getting no shorted connections so everything seems to look good all the traces seem to be great and the board board checks out okay so um, now what I'm going to do here is uh, I got a couple of pieces here I'll show off um, put that down um, I have some of these through hole uh, headers and these are a little bit different size than what people usually use uh, for projects like this. I'm trying to zoom in on it. It's hard to see. Anyway, um, these, these are specifically meant for the XB, and uh, the XB holes are spaced just a little bit differently than on uh, most of these boards, and you can see the spacing there is different. So these I found on SparkFun's website. Uh, they're specifically meant for an XB so that you can... Um, you can basically uh, stick, an, stick an XB into those headers and plug it in and unplug it whenever you want uh, without having to solder anything in. So these headers are good for that. I have two of them here. Uh, we're going to put them both, both on the board, and then I will be able to take an XB, which I have one here. 
and it mounts, uh, it just mounts directly in there uh, into those through hole uh, headers. And so the XB will go on like that. Then I've got, um, I got some other through hole headers here, which are pretty neat. These are super long and then they've got a little, they're, these are stackable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these into here and, and solder those on. And, uh, what will happen is these pins will, will stick all the way down so that they can plug into, uh, similar hit headers that will be on my, uh, mini quad shield. And then, uh, they will they will bring all those connections up through the holes and then also since they're stackable uh, if I at later time I want to stack another board or something like that on there to add something more um, I'll have that capability too with these headers so I'm going to use those um, as well you don't have to you could potentially use uh, you know just regular pins like like these through hole pins uh, that you could you can get on there and then and then mount on your quad or however you feel like doing it. But I'm going to do that so that I can easily remove the shield and then uh, stack more things on in the future if I wanted to. Uh, also, I have um, here uh, I'm going to add a I'm going to add my magnetometer here. Um, that's going to uh, add some more functionality to my shield that I currently don't have because I don't have a mag on mine and I'd like to just to see how it works and how it helps using the heading hold. So essentially that goes right here on the board and I'm going to use just some regular through hole pins. This should be, um, this is going to be mounted just the same way um, we mounted uh, the, the same way that we mounted the other sensors on the, on the mini cod shield. So as this shouldn't be too different than, than the way that works. And then I also have a barrow here, a barometer, um, and I'm going to put that on, on my board in its spot, doing the same thing I do with the mag. Um, so I'm going to be basically using this shield. I'm going to add wireless communication with my XB, and then I'm going to add a mag so I can do heading hold and have another sensor there for all the stabilization. And then barometer will be added so that I can do um, <clears throat> altitude hold. And I've, I've tested the code does fit on the Pro Mini, which is what the AeroQuad Mini Shield runs on. Uh, it does fit so uh, I can add all that code on there and the sensors and the accessory board will will add all that cool stuff on there for me So uh, I'm gonna go solder some of these things together and get it all set up and then uh, let you know how it how it goes when I'm done with that All right, so I am back and I have a couple of things ah, to uh, show uh, First of all I have my mini quad shield uh, here it is, and um, I I have modified it by adding these these headers that we were talking about earlier onto it, uh, which makes my new accessory shield stackable onto the in, onto the mini quad shield here. Um, one thing I will note is I um, I got from SparkFun when I first put my shield together these 90 degree three pin uh, headers, which are really super cool having on this it. It uh, makes all of these connections for the motors and the EE um, and the uh, transmitter uh, plugs. It all pulls them all out and makes them come straight out the side, which is really nice for me to plug jumper wires into all of these. Um, really handy, and it looks like that's going to be kind of necessary uh, if you if you want to use this stackable shield. Because I can imagine if these came straight up, um, then you'd be kind of screwed in plugging things in and using the shield. Um, but that's that's the changes I made to my my mini shield, um, which is is uh, was pretty easy, and then added that stuff in. Um, now the the second thing is here is the finished accessory shield. Um, here's my mag and my barrow. I covered the barrow in foam with some um, electrical tape. I didn't have heat shrink tubing. That's what most people have been use, using, but. Um, I didn't have heat shrink tubing, so I just used electrical tape. Hopefully this protects my barrow enough from the prop wash that I don't get weird weird data. Uh, and then there's my mag, and um, everything's soldered on. And then I have these headers soldered on there, these stackable ones. So these plug directly into the uh, aero quad. And then if I want to later, I could plug something into these um, uh, on the top. And then um, the other thing I've got is my S, uh, these sockets for... Um, for my XB, which if I, I've got an XB here, um, now these are perfectly spaced for an XB, so I can plug 
uh, plug it directly in here. It's kind of weird coordinating your hands when looking through the camera. Okay, there we go. So my uh, XB is plugged in, and uh, and that's that. So there's all my little new accessories plugged into the shield. Oop, turn around there. There we go. And uh, you can see that on the silk screen, the X and Y are there, which helps you orient it against uh, the mini shield, which um, you can't see the mini shields, the X and Y silk screen stuff because it's underneath the Pro Mini. Um, but the thing that you got to keep in mind is that uh, it goes like so. So essentially, you have to overlay it correctly. Um, the easiest reference point, I guess, is the fact that all these analog pins down in the corner here are on the on the mini shield there, and you want to make sure they're oriented the same, like they overlap each other, basically. Um, I didn't choose to put any headers on those because I didn't really care about uh, pulling them up. But uh, now at this point, I can just plug the two shields in together, which will be a little funky for me to coordinate because I'm trying to look through the camera. Um, but, oh, that, there we go. It's actually really easy to plug in once you get everything lined up. And, uh, and there we go. Now they're plugged into each other. And you can see there's still some, plenty of room for clearance there uh, down below. And it comes up, and then there we go. So my new AeroQuad shield with accessory looks like that, which is pretty awesome. Uh, time to go test it. Uh, i got to go modify the software once that's all modified. Uh, plug everything back into my quad, and then I'll, I'll have some video for you of it in action, hopefully using uh, barometer for altitude hold and uh, with new stabilization heading hold stuff enabled for uh, with the magnetometer. Uh, so that's it for now.